Hello and welcome. I am Gary and Reva, and today I'm playing War Chest with Ollie. Hello. This is a two to four player strategy game where you use certain tokens that move in certain ways to conquer the board and claim six of these objectives. You start off with two each. The units are randomly picked and uh, you will see as we go. So first of all, we flip the coin to see who's going first. So I'll flip it, you call it. I'll go tails. And that is to you, my friend. So I am the, the golden wolves. And I am the dark crows. The evil crows. Dark, not evil. We, <laughs> we have our deck here. So the way we do this is you get four. And we've got a house rule where you can, uh, after you've got your four, so I'll draw my four. And I'll draw mine. You can then choose to shuffle any of them back into the deck. So I think I will shuffle this one in. And I'll shuffle, 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 and redraw. Okay, it is the exact same one I just put in. But I'm stuck with it now. Two more cars. Who bears that I'll get exactly the same cards? Oh, no. Oh, wait. One of them's exactly the same. <laughs> oh, boy. What a hand I've got. Maybe the house rule should be that we don't put them back in before we shuffle. I don't know. I don't know what's... I don't know what's well, standard for our beginning. It'll work. It will. It's, it'll be a humorous game, whatever. But yes. So now we show what we've got. So I have the mercenary, the light cavalry, the mm. Pikeman, and the one that I tried to get rid of and failed, the Lancer. The Lancer, oh bloody hell. I call this Command Artillery, because I have the Marshal, the Ensign, <laughs> the Archer, oh, wow. Wow. and the Crossbowman. That is a very unbalanced hand. Yeah, I I tried to get rid of the archer and um what what, what was the other one I tried to get rid of? Uh, I can't remember. It was the royal guard. That was it. And I got the ensign and the archer back again. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting battle. <laughs> so you may see that we both have a bag by our sides, and at the moment each of them has a royal chip in it. The royal chip is worthless, but we have it anyway. <laughs> it's dead weight. But we're going to take two chips from each of our soldiers and pop them in our bag. Preferably without missing. And these are essentially your draw pile. So these are your starting forces, and then you can recruit more as your turns go. And I missed again. Okay, so when we have nine each... Then we shuffle our bags. I do it by clicking, and he likes to uh, pick it up. Oh, and one bloody hell, if I... <laughs> Get back in the bag, Marshal. And then we draw three. And here is my starting hand. You've got the first play, so... Which means I get to go first. So I will, I mean, obviously, I will use the chip to deploy a pikeman on one of my bases. So the idea is that we have to move our chips, our, our units, onto these neutral locations or objectives, whatever you want to call them, and then use an action to capture it. Each of them has a unique ability. The pikeman uh, is a good defensive unit because he kills anything that attacks him as well as anything he attacks. So he's uh, a good area denial. I'm just going to check the rules one moment because I just need to uh, check with the marshal because he allows a unit to attack, but my crossbowman and archer, they their special abilities are tactics, so I'm just checking how right how exactly that affects. Uh, I mean, the crossbowman, it sounds like it can actually attack, like it attacks normally stuff around it, or it can use its tactic to attack stuff further away. 
Well, the thing is, with the, the archer, the archer cannot attack. So that's why I'm just wondering: does that mean that the marshal cannot do anything well, it, it, for the archer? It can't do a normal attack, but it can. It, it says can only attack by using this tactic, which means using the the tactic is an attack. Okay, so we're going to. So the the marshal can help the cross. The marshal can help. Yeah, the marshal can help both. Okay, that's cool. uh, my interpretation, at least. Cool. Okay, so resume. Uh, so let me pop this chap up there. I've never seen a marshal before. She's a friendly unit that's mm. within two spaces and it can attack if able. Mm. Okay, this is going to be a very odd game. Yeah, that's what I've never had the ensign and <laughs> marshal on the same side. So, okay, I will um, throw this away as useful as it is, in order to recruit a light cavalry. So, so that goes into your discard. Yep. And then when the bag shuffles, uh, when the bag is empty, I add my discard into there, including the new card, the new uh, the new unit. Chip. Bag building game. Yeah, it's sort of like a, a deck building game. Except it's a bag. It's chips instead of cards, and a bag instead of a deck. Bag of chips. Bag of chips. Um, I've deployed my archer, so he's covering those objectives right now. The archer is very good for controlling units at range. The problem is that he has no melee. Re he has no melee range. So if anything gets up close, then he is he's a bit screwed. So just to clarify. If the if I was within one space of the crossbowman and you attacked it, that would still kill the crossbow. Uh, the crossbow, the crossbow, yeah. Um, in a one space, because it seems like that's an ordinary attack. I believe so. I believe the pikeman did it there. Yeah, if he is, if the crossbow is adjacent to the pikeman and he killed the pikeman the crossbowman would die oh yeah attacked by an adjacent unit yeah. i will uh choose to discard to add oh look at that another another light cavalry i'm worried by your range mm. I'm, I'm worried by it as well although I'm now that i think about it the lancer might be a good counter it, pro it really is Especially because the Lancer has more range, because he can charge three, can't he? Uh, one or two spaces and then attack, yeah. Or he can. He would be at. He would have two spaces between him, so he could be on that far objective from the archer. The archer can't yeah. shoot him, but the Lancer can charge. That is quite powerful. I'm kind of glad I have him now. I'm sorry for trying to get rid of you, Lancer. Uh, I discarded my last piece face down, and I will recruit a marshal. Okay, so now we draw our three new ones and i continue to go first as i have the coin face You're up. Still the first player. so i will recruit a light cavalry right there i'm going to maneuver my archer so the light cavalry can move two spaces it's very mobile but then like unlike let's say the cavalry they're not the strongest He's not very good against but an archer. You don't want him to be strong, you just move him around. Yeah, alright, I'll activate him and move him. One, two. Ooh, okay. That's not, I can't say that's what I expected. I, I don't think I can beat an archer. I mean, unless I closed within <laughs> range. I suppose that's the way around It's the quite archer. difficult. It's, it really has got to be a gamble. You've got to yeah. hope that I don't have an archer piece in my hand. I don't and like that you gambles. do have a cavalry to, another cavalry piece to back it up. Was that you? Uh, but I have uh, deployed my ensign. Okay, uh, and I will discard one to add a lancer to my recruit. Or to recruit a lancer. <laughs> Whatever. Don't do it. I'm going oh. to discard that face down. To recruit an ensign. I'm really glad you're the one who got the uh, what did you call it? Command and artillery. Command and artillery, because it's it looks bloody awkward. It does. I would struggle because Ollie's played a lot more of this than I have. Um, 
He's been very patient teaching me this game, and we do play it a fair bit, actually. But I have never won. I, 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 have, I have shown him how horrible Berserkers and Mercenaries <laughs> can be. Yeah, yeah, I recently got uh, Berserker in the wrong place. Finally, the thing I've been waiting for, I will deploy a Lancer. I have a question about the Lancer. Yeah. It says it uh, the tactic is move one or two and then attack in a straight line. Can I move one or two and then not attack? Oh, I I'd say no. Yeah, to me that sounds like a, an abuse of the the Lancer. Yeah, no, I think it's it's got to be a, a full charge. If you use any of the tactic, you have to use all of the just, tactic. Can't just charge and then just like cancer to a stop and just be <laughs> like, oh, we would just. It's like, guys, I, I need you to move, lower your lances, charge the open field. But sir, there's no one. I said charge. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to discard that ensign piece, and he's going to move the archer. The ensign, as his power, can cause another use and uh, move a friendly piece that is within two spaces to move um, mm. anywhere that is still within two spaces of the ensign. Okay, uh, and I will activate the Lancer to move to there. Horrible. <laughs> I'm just lining up that charge. <laughs> You just wait. I'm going to move Marshall there. Okay. And I will activate my pikeman. Pikeman. To move him forwards. I'm going to deploy my crossbowman there. Almost everything's on the field now. Hmm. Okay. What are we missing? It's just, mer it's just mercenaries. Just mercenary, yeah. That's, I think that's both our empty bags. Yep. I keep discarding my, my mercenary to recruit because I didn't want him going up against an archer, but I don't really want him going up against a crossbowman either. I'm going to have to, like, stack them and just, like, rush you. Uh, right, so I will activate my pikeman to move him to there. I'm going to use the ensign to move the, mer the marshal over there. Ooh. This is going to be really interesting. I'm going to feel very bad about myself if you win, just putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's the thing, I'm looking at my hand I'm just like, I really think there's a way to make this work but I just don't know right now uh, Play the light cavalry to move him up to there Play the crossbowman to move him forwards Because he's now within range He certainly is Ooh, okay uh, And I will play my other light cavalry to capture. Mm -hmm. So that's three of six. Yeah, I can't interdict, interdict that, but I can at least punish you for doing so. Oh. Crossbowman! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was Order thinking, given. Oh, there's no, no chance you can have a crossbowman in his hand, but he doesn't need one, because he's got the marshal. Well, that's the thing. If I, that's why I'm trying to load up on marshals and ensigns, because mm. then it will just be, I don't need crossbowmen or archers, I'll just command them to do whatever. So the way around that would be for me to kill you. I mean, that is usually my well, way around things. That's, but... always, that's usually the way around it. <laughs> All right, draw a hand. And now I will activate a lancer. To line up on you. Going to take that to capture. Okay. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Is, 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 is it a lance? Get ready for the lancing. All right, guys, charge across that open field and actually hit something on the other side. So I charge forward two and spear your archer. Dead. A shame. Brave soldiers, each and every one of them. They managed to put up their flag before they all got, you know, skewered. <laughs> yeah, but what if I did this? Ooh, that is a thing that you, you could do. You did expect the commanders to come at you. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Because mm, although, although your marshals have that charging range, they don't have anything up close. My Lancer. All right, I'm going to discard that. To recruit my last Lancer. 
So that's all my lancers recruited now. I'm going to discard that face down. Ooh. Ooh. Take the turn order. So that's one thing you can do instead of recruiting something new or activating a unit, he can take the turn order so he will get the first move in the new hand. Mm. Which can be very good for something like this. Where he needs to draw the thing. If I get a marshal, if I get a marshal token, then I can. Yeah, he needs a marshal before I get a lancer. Like that, yeah. Which is rather lucky, because that is one dead lancer. Damn. Mm, I will deploy a light cavalry at the back base. Mm. The backest of bases. It's very near the royal uh, court. That base. Hmm. Bit, bit too close for comfort. I will dub this light cavalry uh, Lord uh, Cavalson. Cavalson with a... I discarded a piece to recruit an ensign. Uh, I will discard this. No, I won't. So the the rule we have for like taking back your move is if you play a face-up one, you know, one, once the opponent sees what it is, you can't take it back. But if you play one face <clears> down, you can take it back. Are we agreed on that? Yeah, yeah. So as long as it, 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 it's, as long as you haven't fully set into motion what you've done. Like, if yeah. you've completely done your turn, and then it's like, oh, crap, I shouldn't have done that. It's kind of, you know, a bit too late for that now. Yeah, if you're may, about may to do have... something, it's like, actually, maybe not, then... That may or may not have lost me a game at one point. Um, all right, I will. I will play one face down. To recruit a light cavalry, my last light cavalry. Those mercenaries still aren't out on the board, Jesus. Yeah, it's because there is nowhere safe for them. They're either too far <laughs> back or within bloody crossbow it's, range. This is uh, nowhere safe. <laughs> um, and I'm going to move my ensign up. So Backing the crossbowman's now within range, isn't he, of, of that activation? Yes. Okay, and with my last one, I will take the turn back. So new turn, and I will do something useful with my life. I will activate the light cavalry to move him, move Lord Cavalson up to there mm. to occupy that objective. Oh, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. <laughs> and I will activate a pikeman to capture that one. So that's four out of six. Turns can move quite rapidly. Hmm. It depends how much contention there is, because one, if if it's because we mostly got open field right here, so it's mm. not so much. Is once everyone's jiggling around each other that it's a bit more difficult. Yeah. They put I used an ensign to capture that location, so I, I've also got four out of six. Okay, and I will deploy a lancer there. Visible concern. <laughs> Your marshal is too effective. Uh, okay. I'm going to add crossbowman there. Okay, so draw three. All right, I'm going to I'm going to activate my light cavalry to move them there, Lord Cavalson. I didn't capture it. Okay, because I'd rather be out of shooting range. I don't want to lose Lord Cavalson. I'm going to play that crossbowman and put Ooh. down a fifth point. So you are now one away. Bit of a gamble for me, but yeah, I'm going to activate my lancer oh, to kill your marshal. Because I reckon if you had a bowman, you would have used him already. Well, I, I, I couldn't. I was going to say I had uh, my, my bowman can't shoot no, him. No, but I, I reckon you would have fled. Oh, yeah, you want to. Yeah. I reckon you would have moved him away to uh, to avoid dying. Uh, so your move is bring a new one out. I deployed. I deployed a new marshal. <laughs> All right. Finally, the okay. mercenary makes an appearance. Mercenary enters the 
castle. Now that the crossbowman isn't bloody got Overwatch on that location. <laughs> All right, now we're coming to a head. So, new hand. I, I've got one piece left. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, yeah, because I moved oh. first. Sorry. Oh, mm. I forgot about that. I've turned my hand over, so I can't see what they are. I'm going to use my... Ooh. Ensign. So the ensign allows you to yeah. do an ordinary move of another unit. Yes, within from within two spaces to another spot that's within two spaces. But you used it to move your ensign. Yes, because the only other place I could I could like move my archer, but I kind of all uh, the marshal, but mm. it would also leave people at risk yeah I've, I've suddenly gone very aggressive right what do i want to murder i guess i'm going to activate the lancer to move one away yep get him out of harm's I'm way gonna use the ensign. <laughs> move one up okay all right, yeah, that's, oh, that's a fair you're move. retreating from me? <laughs> um, I will activate the Light Cavalry to kill your archer. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have any more lancers to use. I'm going to discard that face down to take the turn order. Okay. Oh, this is really tight right now. <laughs> Yeah, am I correct in the understanding that I can't take it back in this turn? No. I was going to say, you can only... Yeah, you can't take... If you started with the turn order, you can't take the turn order. Okay. Because that's why I hesitated before. Because I didn't want to, like, burn... Like, this is, like, on, on one of the other turns, I, I go, oh, no, actually, I don't want to do that. That's because I thought that you... Like, I didn't want to burn the royal token it was to uh to do something only for you to then like say oh I, I will flip the turn order and me need to flip it back but yeah it turns out I'm I, gonna I say, if, they, if they flip the turn order there's nothing you can do about it it's just okay well i guess they have the turn order now all right i will burn that in order to recruit a mercenary and move him there with his bonus action. Oof. So the the mercenary, when you recruit one, it allows you to make a free action with a deployed mercenary. It means they've got a limited amount of bonus action, so to speak. Yeah. Now here's the gamble. There's a marshal. I could kill the lancer, but I'm going to move onto the objective. Oh, I see. You're banking on me not drawing... Lord oh, no, I'm going first, aren't I? Oh, you are I'm going first. On, if, I, if I draw a marshal, then the game is to me. You, that is well played. I did not see that coming. Okay, all right. Son of a bitch. Have you won? I will, I'll... <laughs> let my That's action... a no. That's a no, you haven't drawn a, a marshal. <laughs> it's because you don't have many... Do you have any in the deck? Oh yeah, that that was what we. Oh, I, I, I think I've got. I think I've got. Oh bugger! I might only have. Because we were going to like do it like deck. this, weren't we? So yeah, one's dead. You only have five, so you just put one in there. So you only had one to draw. So that was uh, an unlikely draw for you to yeah. get one because you haven't recruited enough. Yeah, we'll we'll try and remember to uh, stack the dead pile in like order of tokens, oh, yeah, so in... you can. So at a glance, we can... Oh, God, sorry, just wax something on my desk. Right. This is going to be risky. This is going to be very risky. I am going to activate a mercenary to move him to there. An ensign. Let's move crossbowmen there. Oh, that is a good position for the crossbow. Mm. Um, I will 
play one face down to recruit recruit a mercenary a mercenary kill the marshal and kill your your marshal Whew, that was close and i'm going to use the oh. ensign <laughs> god and move the women Oof. i was really <laughs> thinking just like think thinking thinking Oh, bugger, I've realised how much I screwed that now. Oh, dear. The, this game is very up in the air. Uh, I'm activating my cro my pikeman to move in there. So depending... Oh, shit. You I should have taken the turn order. I should have you taken the turn order, because if you... Gonna, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was saying it's just like, <sighs> you may take the turn order, you may... I really just hope you didn't have oh, that. This is the exact same make I made last time. Mm. <laughs> I did the exact same thing last time. I moved a unit instead of taking the turn order, and it cost me the game. And I think I may have just done that Wait, again. Say that. What I was going to say. What, watch, watch me not draw a crossbowman, and then you kill him with the the pikemen. Uh, you should have only one crossbowman in your draw, because none no, have died, no, no. and you you've not recruited. Ah, uh, yeah, I've got, oh. I've got a crossbowman. <laughs> the crossbowman wow. captures. Very good game. The, uh, the skirmish goes to the cross to the ravens. Or crows, dark crows, that was it. Oh, the evil crows. That, that lineup, Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> and I, I did draw a lancer as well. So I, I if I had uh, taken the turn order, I could have killed order, him. Ah. Just... Oh. Very good game. So that's War Chest against Ollie. We do play this a fair bit. This was a really good game. There are loads of other units, some of which I've never actually used. So if you want to see more War Chest, do let us know. Leave a comment for any suggestions for how we can play better, uh, how I can play better. Ollie played reasonably well, um, <laughs> I would say. Let us know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any suggestions for other games we can play, put them in the comments as well. Please subscribe to the channel and we will catch you later. Goodbye.